What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I actually got a bench force uh, flashing system to be able to flash an L5P ECM on the bench and do all the tuning via um, basically his bench force system right here. So you can do all the tuning on that platform right there. Instead of plugging the unit into your truck like ECM and all that stuff and actually get a read, tune it, all that through a bench, which I think is pretty cool because a lot of people are unsure about how to flash a truck, like the tuning aspect side of it. And I've been doing a lot of like L5P ECMs and stuff like that. And instead of walking everyone through the whole process, I figured it'd just be easier to just go ahead buy this bench force system and do it on the bench. I want to show you guys uh, how to do that today. I think it's gonna be pretty cool uh, using this thing because I've always been wanting to like uh, see how you do it on a bench. I've never seen anything like that before. Like, I was looking myself, no one really has anything. So I went online and I found this bench force system. It comes in a pretty cool case right here. And, um, I got the ECM uh, or TCM connector and the ECM connector. So you can do all that on a laptop tune the uh, L5P ECM. So we're we'll going to head in here now a little bit and uh, get into that tuning process. I think it's going to be pretty cool. I'm going to learn it myself right now with you guys because I haven't even opened it yet. So let's get right on into it. So this week, and I actually went to the Bloomsburg 4x4 Jamboree. And I actually threw my 14 wides back on there because I'm like, you know what? This summer's so beat. I brought this truck last year and I plan on doing so much stuff with it this summer because I basically got, basically got it at the end of last summer. And um, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go to every event this summer and everything like that. Everything got canceled because of the whole coronavirus. So I made it out to the Bloomsburg 4x4 Jamboree yesterday. It's a really cool event. I met so many of you guys out there. Um, I think it's actually insane like how many people here locally know about me. And I met a lot of you guys, and you guys are so cool. But I'm like, you know, let's throw the 14 wise on here, go out there and have a good time. And um, I think the Diesel Nationals, uh, they're here in PA somewhere next weekend. I didn't really look it up yet. Some people were telling me about it yesterday. So I'm thinking about going out to that event. So if any of you guys are local, the PA area, and you know about the Diesel Nationals, let me know if you guys are going down below. And also, too, some of the clips I got from the show yesterday, I'm going to throw in here real quick because some of them are really too good not to show. Okay, so getting back into the bench force system here, um, I brought this whole system, I think it was like 850 bucks to be able to do all this via the bench. Now I think it's just like a power source. Um, I got the whole kit, basically everything that you need to do it. So this is the actual system right here. Um, I think it provides like OBD2 power down here and you plug in your connectors up here. Um, I got the power source. I guess you have to have like a constant voltage to uh, be able to do this correctly without frying ECM, I guess, or something like that. Um, you got your connectors here, so this plugs in basically OBD2 to your connectors right here. Then you just plug it right into the ECM right there. And um, you gotta go on your laptop here and download the latest version of HP Tuner software. Um, now you go on their website, hptuners.com, go under downloads, and download VCM Suite. Um, you always want to do everything in the beta version. I said this before, um, every time you write, edit, scan, anything like that, if you use the editor or scanner, you want to be in the beta version. So I already downloaded the latest version. I already got a VCM editor here. So I'm going to go ahead here now and try to hook all this up, get it running, and uh, hook up to my uh, ECM right here. Now this is going to be an ECM and TCM flash. Um, you're going to have to open up your MPVI2. Um, as a lot of you guys may or may not know, um, it used to be 10 credits to flash the ECM and 4 to flash the TCM. So basically you need a 14 credits. HP Tuners pretty recently dropped the credits. So now you only need 8 for the ECM and 4 for the TCM. Basically I got it set up the way I think it should be now. The OBD2 um, port is at the bottom of this. So you're going to hook your MPVI2 up to here. This end's gonna go to your laptop like normal. And then this end here is gonna connect to either your ECM or TCM connector via that uh, pass-through connector right there. So I thought I was missing an adapter at first. I really had to look at this thing to see what I was missing. But it looks like we're all good here now. So I'm gonna go ahead, hook it all up. Um, we'll probably start with the ECM first. I'll show you guys how to get a read file on that. And then uh, we'll send the tunes off. I'll show you guys all the information that you need if you're doing this yourself. Um, like I said, if you get this stuff through me, um, it'll become bench flash now, so you don't have to do all that tuning yourself. Basically, just plug and play, just drop it right in, and you're good to go.
But um, if you don't get through me and you want to learn how to do it yourself, or even if you get through me and you want to just do it yourself, this is how you do it. So basically, it's going to be like the same process um, as if it were in a truck, but it's not in a truck. We're just doing it right here with no truck via the bench force. So um, let's go ahead and get a read now on the ECM. I got it all plugged in. Red light comes on here. Um, I'm going to get this hooked up to the ECM in a second. But I guess on the side of the system right here, it's saying that uh, it's the key. Um, I don't know which one's which or what the difference is. But um, I'll just put it like to the key on position. So that'd be key on. So I'll turn this off. Um, I'll unplug it all, then I'll plug the ECM in and uh, see if we can actually get a read here on the computer. Now, um, as always, you just want to be really careful. Um, I really never showed this like up close because it's always in the truck. But as you can see how many pins and connectors are in here, anytime you ever swap your ECM out, you want to be really careful you don't bend any of these pins. Because once you start bending these pins, then it's a totally different story. Um, you'll probably end up needing a whole new ECM because odds are your pipe will never be able to get those back straight to where they're supposed to be. So um, it's not the blue connector. I guess we're going to hook up here to the center one right here. So um, let's go ahead here now hook onto it. So it can only go on one way, uh, just so you know. So as you can see, you just want to push it on here until it gets started. And uh, you just want to gently guide it on there. Um, you want to slowly start pulling down on this here too. Just want to be careful. Now you saw how it like pulled itself down and seat it. Now you just want to go ahead here very carefully and lock that down the rest of the way on there. Obviously it gets on the bench. I'm taking it right back off. I'm not going to lock it, but... Uh, that's how you do it for now. Now that we got that connector on, I'm going to go ahead here now and give uh, the bench flash actual power back. So let me go ahead here now and get that hooked up. We're going to plug the MPVI2 port into our computer here. Come on. There we go. I'll make this full screen. Now, I'll go ahead here now, put the key on. And um, we'll go ahead here now and see if it actually uh, connected to the uh, ECM. So, I'll come over here now, the VCM editor, and we'll try to get a read off this ECM. So, this is how you read a vehicle, uh, basically HP tuners, L5P. You want to come over to here and editor. You're going to see this button right up here. It's a green vehicle button with an arrow. It says read vehicle. You want to click that. And it'll start to read everything. It's going to ask you what you want to read, I'm pretty sure. But we only have the uh, ECM hooked up for now. So we're just going to click uh, read right here. Well, I just figured it out. Um, like I said, I'm just learning this whole thing. I, I guess I actually didn't click this in all the way. So now I'm back over here to scanner. And actually it comes up at the top of what vehicle this is for. So this is for 2017. You can see the VIN and everything up there like that, which is good. I always wanted to know in case something got messed up, I can actually pull it up on here and see what VIN and what everything it belongs to. So now that I got that figured out and out of the way, we're going to come back over here to Editor. And like I said before, this green button right here is how to read it. Uh, you're going to click Read. So, and a lot of times, too, this happens when you go to read it. It will say Interface Not Found. Now, all you want to do is just unplug your MPVI2 from your laptop. Just plug it back in and um, click read again, and it should uh, go right through. I get asked that question a lot too, it says interface not found. Now, um, this is coming up E41 ECM, that's the only thing it's detecting. So right now it's just reading entire on its own, so that's what you wanna do. Now, what I just read is your stock file, which I talk about all the time, getting a stock file. This stock file that it provides is what you send out to the tuner to get your tunes uh, Basically, the base file is what they build your tune off of. So right here, it's going to say uh, you provide a stock file, blah, 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 blah. We'll come down here and name it uh, 2017 L5P stock file. And just save it where you want to on your laptop. Um, I'll probably just do it on desktop. Go down here, click save. And then boom, that's your stock file. Now that I'm on my desktop, um, you can see if my camera focuses that I see this 2017 L5P stock file. Now you're going to take this file along, say you do just an ECM, you'll send this file off. 
I still gotta do the TCM over here, but you'll take this file right here, you'll put in an email, and whoever your tuner is or whoever you're dealing with, you'll send that to them. You're gonna need your uh, MPVI2 serial number on the back right here. You need that serial number, your VIN. Now with your VIN number, when you type it out, it needs to be the exact VIN with, um, you have to put in all capital letters. Now a lot of people put like all lowercase, that does matter. A lot of times like your Edge Insight CTS2 and all that stuff it won't work because when you go to put your VIN in the HP tuners, you don't use capital letters. If You have to use capital letters all the time. If you don't use capital letters, it'll throw the whole system off. I don't know why, it's just how it works. But um, use all capital letters whenever you send that out. Your MPVI2 is just letters or numbers, my bad. So you won't need to capitalize those, obviously. A long story short, just use capitals and that will alleviate all the problems. So now that I got my stock file right here, I'm gonna go ahead here now, swap this all off, I'll probably just unplug it, and then we're gonna go ahead here and get a read on the TCM. Now, a lot of times too, I forgot to mention, and uh, as you're reading it in VCM uh, editor right here, um, maybe it'll do it when I come up with the TCM, but a lot of times it gives you the option to read the ECM and TCM at the same time. I've never really done it that way, you probably can, but I just like to read it separately, just so uh, things go smoother and I know that way better. So let's go ahead here now and read the TCM, get all this swapped out for the TCM connector, and it'll be good to go. And I'll just show you guys real quick on how to disconnect this. So basically, let me just unplug this. Um, probably unplug that too. So you wanna push down on the uh, button right here, real gently, you saw that release, and then just slowly guide this up. Be very careful, you don't break it obviously because my bench flash one, and I don't feel like buying another connector. So it's a little bit stuck. Let me set my camera up right here. This happens a lot <laughs> during actual application too. All right, so you just wanna be really careful with this. I don't know why it's stuck on here, but it is. There you go. You just gotta play with it a little bit. Never force it. Then it just comes off nice and easy like that. So now that we got the read on this, we'll go ahead here now and get a read on the TCM. And also, I forgot to mention, the only way that you can get trans tuning is if you have a 17 through 19 truck on the 20s, they don't have PCM tuning out yet, so obviously, because of 10-speed transmission, and as a lot of you guys know, the 2020s have a 10-speed. They're different from 17 through 19, so they don't have trans tuning out yet, but once that becomes available, I'll get that in my truck and I'll do a review about it on how the uh, transmission tuning is. Probably do a bench flash on it, it'd be a lot easier, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, give a review. It definitely needs trans tuning, though, I'm not gonna lie. Um, when you drive like a 17 through 19 truck with trans tuning, it, the, the truck's like perfect. It's like everything it should be. Um, there's some soft shifts here and there with this because um, they don't have the added line pressure and everything like that, but once they come out with 10-speed trans tuning, this truck's gonna be an animal. The first time, I guess I didn't push this all the way in, so I guess I just had it like that, but you really have to, you hear a click at that point. So now that that's hooked up, we'll go ahead here now and we'll um, get it hooked up to the TCM right here. Same process, you don't wanna force anything, obviously. I'm trying to get my camera set up here. So we're just gonna go like this. It can only go on one way too. So now we got it on there. We wanna gently pull this down. Lock it in. Now that I got a new folder, I just put L5P reads right there. Um, we'll go ahead and hit here now and uh, read the TCM. Same way, you're gonna click read vehicle. And it should give you the option to read now. Before it only gave you the right option. I don't know why if you store both files in the same location. It won't let you get a read on both. I don't know why, it's just what it does. So you're gonna click read. It's gonna read the TCM. Now make sure you label which one's which. The other one I probably didn't even do. Okay, for some reason, I don't know why. I don't know what this button does over here on the side. It says CAN 120. I really don't know, but I just slipped the button to that position right there instead of the key, and then I was able to get a read off of it. So basically it's gonna put, um. The file even supplies a stock file. Obviously, got the TCM hooked up. We're gonna go like this. Save it. Uh, save it where you want to put it. I put L5P reads. So that's the other one I saved stock files. So is a 2017 L5P TCM stock file. Then we're gonna put save. Then boom, you successfully have read your ECM and TCM. Now I'm gonna send these files off. And then when I get those files back, I will go ahead here and uh, load in the files onto the truck. 
basically tuning it so when you get, ever you get to ECM, you'll have the ECM basically pre-tuned so you don't have to go through all this headache. This probably here probably took me a good half hour to do. It'll save you a half hour of doing it yourself. Um, if you want to do it yourself, obviously you can, but it's really just a pain in the butt. It should come like this, but HP Tuner doesn't do tuning, so obviously you have to send it to tunes out. It's a huge could-do with this truck, but um, just trying to make life a lot simpler here. A lot of times when you send tunes off during the week, you'll get them back within the same hour or so, depending on what day if it's a holiday weekend, but a lot of times I see them back the same day. But um, obviously now it's a Saturday, and um, I'm not going to get tunes back today, so I'm going to show you guys how to write it. I'm just going to write the stock file to it for right now. It's the same process once you uh, send it off and get your tunes back on how to write it. So I'm just going to write the ECM for now. I'll show you guys how to use the credits and everything like that. And uh, yeah, we'll just do that really quick, write it, and uh, we'll be good to go. Just for uh, demonstration purposes, I'm going to load in the stock file. I really don't recommend doing this. I don't know why. I just heard of instances that you burn credits. Credits are $50 a piece, and uh, you need eight for the, like I said, eight for the ECM. So that's like 400 bucks. Uh, it's really a risk I don't like to take. But um, for demonstration purposes, obviously I'm going to do it. Um, so come up here. You'll see now you can't click the read button. The red arrow pops up. Now you're going to click right. So we'll go ahead here now. It's going to say show licensing options. Um, this is basically where you use your credits. Now credits is a one-time thing just to flash to ECM and TCM. If you ever change tunes ever going forward, you won't need any more credits. It's just like a one-time flashing thing, basically just for HP tuners to make money. Um, they don't need to do this. They just do because it's how they make an easy $400 for just clicking a button right here. So we'll go right here. We're going to click show licensing options. Saying connect interface. I don't know why. We'll go ahead. Anytime you have problems, just disconnect it from your laptop and plug it back in. That always fixes the issue. I don't know why. Um... So right now, as you see on the MPVI2 port, we have 12 credits available, like it should. Um, so right now, we're going to click specific. We're going to license this ECM to be able to write the file to it. So specific, OK, 8 credits, and OK. This action can't be undone, yes. So boom, we just licensed that. That just cost $400. For you to be able to tune in this ECM, like I said, it's a waste of money. Um, anytime you write something for the first time, always click Write Entire. Anytime after this, you can just click Write Calibration if you want to change tunes. But I like to do a Write Entire every time. Now, you might have issues that doesn't read all the way through or write, it, write all the way through. Might get halfway stopped, say failed error, whatever. Uh, just keep, keep clicking Write until it goes all the way through. So, we're just going to click Write. We'll start writing this, put the stock file on here, and uh, we'll be good to go. This is how you know it wrote all the way through when it said write complete it. Once it says write complete, you're good to go ahead, disconnect the MPVI2, and start your truck, and uh, you'll be good to go. Now, obviously, the TCM's the same way. I'm not going to show that just because there's no need to do that. You just flash it the same exact way. Just come over here to uh, the ECM editor. You're just going to click File, and then you're going to click Open. Select the file that you want to flash into the truck. Then just click read and you're good to go. So that's about it for this video, guys. That's basically everything that you need to know for tuning an L5P. Uh, I know I made a couple of videos like this before, but I thought the bench flashing system was pretty cool and I get a lot of questions about how to do it. I try to be as in-depth as possible. You know, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below and I'll do the best I can to answer them. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. And if you like what you saw, be sure to leave this video a big thumbs up. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.